it's a protest, I see it's more just a notation and kind of letting our new president and vice president know how the American people feel and that times are kind of uneasy right now. And I think it was really important for them to speak what they had to say because the whole musical kind of talks about how our country came to be and our American values and how our country was built on immigrants and people of all different backgrounds. So I think it's really important that they actually spoke their mind. And I think they did so very respectfully too. It's just, you know, it's uh, how people are feeling, you know, one way or another. Uh, we want everybody to be represented and, and the way the campaign was, it, it was the feeling that everybody wasn't being represented. So. Right. Yeah, it was a protest. It was a bit disrespectful. They are going to be the leaders of the country. I didn't vote for them. I think uh, they're poor candidates, but they're still going to be the leaders. I would not have. Approved. I personally, I'll tell you his Donald Trump's tweet where he says the theater should be a safe place. I'll tell you that one of the safest places I've ever been in is inside this theater. So. I think that his tweets just being really dis saying that they were disrespectful was really out of line when there have been so many hate crimes committed after he was elected and he hasn't tweeted a single thing about that. It just seems that his priorities are a little out of line to me. I think that someone needs to take his phone away from him. <laughs> I think it's not very presidential. I think that he said that the cast was harassing Pence and I think that there are other things that Trump has done that could be categorized as harassment, but I don't think that Brandon Victor Dixon, Dixon making a statement for the cast and crew was harassment.